There we go. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Eric from Dank Lightco here. So <clears throat> getting started here with the new ProLine launch. Uh, if you guys have seen any of our promotional videos, you know that ProLine is a whole new platform in lighting. It's designed to be completely modular from the ground up so that every piece can be uh, serviced, upgraded, replaced in the field. And not only that, but it's got amazing diode counts, amazing output, amazing efficiency, and options like dual drivers and stuff for higher output. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. All right, so coming through here, I'm going to take a look first at the, uh, the, the smaller lights in the series. So the first one you can see here is the, let me put it in the light here a little bit better. This is the ProLine 3. This is going to be available in a 240 watt version and a 320 watt version. Uh, it's going to have, right now we're only bringing out the um, big red versions of this. So it's all big red light bars. Uh, the 240 watt version um, is going to do about 700 total PPF and the 320 watt version does about 900 total PPF. Uh, the 240 watt version, single driver version is gonna be intro priced at 469 and the 320 watt version is gonna be intro priced at 489. So that is the three bar light uh, each. Big red 150 light strip in there has 318 total diodes. 306 of those are Samsung LM301B, and the other 12 are Osram Hyper Red 660 nanometer. And you can see, I talked a little bit about the modular construction. You can see these little thumb screws. Basically, these little thumb screws are what you use to assemble everything. Um, driver tray uses those same little thumb screws. And uh, basically, the light bars go in, you put the thumb screws in. Driver tray goes on, you put the thumb screws in, there's some little nuts in that heat sink there, and wham, you know, you've got the light assembled. And that makes it easy to take that driver right off and throw it up on a wall or something like that if you don't want it in the gross space. We've got extension cords, so we've got an AC extension cord, we've got a DC extension cord, which goes between the driver and the light strips, and then we've got the 220, 240 volt uh, cords as well. Um, so all those accessories will be available for the lights as well. And then, the moving on in the series, we've got the next light, which is our new four bar. Now this is our 4S, which stands for short or shorty frame because it's not on the, the standard four foot style frame. Let me get a little bit better light on that. And this is a killer light. One of the best things about this light, it's kind of dark, sorry about that you guys. Trying to set these things up for video production is not the best, there we go. So that's the new four bar light. Uh, that is going to be available as a um, 320 watt super blue light. So four super blue uh, strips in there if you want to do full veg. And it's also gonna be available as a 480 watt big red light. Uh, that's the Photon Boost Edition, uh, the 480 watt version is. And the 320 watt super blue does about 750 PPF. The uh, 480 watt <coughs> uh, big red is going to do about 1324 PPF. And the prices, intro prices on that one are gonna be 569 on the Super Blue and 599 on the Big Red. So this, the cool thing about this light, this will work well in a four x four tent. Obviously it doesn't have quite the coverage because it's not as long. It's about four feet long in one direction and about uh, three feet long in the other direction. But it will still completely flower a four x four tent without a problem, um, more than enough light for that. And the really cool thing about this is for anybody out there who's thinking about doing a container grow and actually con converting a container, these lights are perfect over like a three by five canopy, which is you know the basically the aisle size on a container. Um, you can do two aisles of like three by fives with a uh, two foot row down the middle. And uh, people have been asking about this light because those container grows are kind of getting popular. So anyway, that's the uh, the four S. That's going to be the Proline four S. And when I talked about the upgradability, you guys can kind of see maybe how it works here. You've got frame bars, you've got light bars, and you've got a driver. And basically, the idea that we're going for here is you can buy into this four bar light, but later on, if you want to go to our six bar or our eight bar or our 10 bar, you can just upgrade. You can buy the frame rails that for the bigger frame. You can buy more light bars and you can get the bigger driver tray and just slap them back together with thumb screws and wham, your light is upgraded and your purchase is future proof. Um, the other thing that's great about this is like I said, servicing. Um, LEDs have a very high reliability rating and don't fail very often. 
But the really cool thing about this is that everything can be swapped out in the field in minutes. So if a bar was to burn out, boom, you take the bar out, you, you know, put it back in with thumb screws and your light's back up and running. So no downtime. Great thing about that light. Here is the 600 watt, excuse me, six bar photon boost. It's actually a 640 watt, six bar photon boost version. This is the light that for some of my followers, you guys know Dub XL. He's uh, been crushing it with this light. Uh, he did it with the DIY version. And of course, the Proline version is improved in every way. Our, just to give you an idea, our DIY big red light strips had 235 diodes. The new Proline uh, big red light strips, the 150s, have 318 diodes. So efficiency goes way up, output is going way up, and uh, overall coverage is just phenomenal. But uh, Dub was hitting just under three pounds a tray in a 4x4 on this light and thinks he can go over. And I'm sure that we'll probably see some bigger numbers pretty soon on that. So anyway, the 6-bar uh, is going to be coming out. Our, our, our single driver 6-bar, this is an 8-bar light here, but our single driver 6-bar would have that 600-watt Inventronics driver on it. And that single... 600-watt uh, driver on the 6-bar light. You're going to be doing about 1,640 PPF on that one. And it, that one's going to be intro pricing at $799. $799. And that has more output than, or pretty much equal output to any kind of Fluence light, the first generation Gavitas. Um, and it'll just crush. And it's going to be $799. Uh, then if you move up, this is the, fa the photon boost version that we have here in the tent. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's hard for me because of the angle to see if you can see that. But the photon boost version, which is dual drivers, um, dual dimmers, and the ability to either run an all red spectrum or a blue and red spectrum. But the photon boost version, if you want to do the mixed spectrum, which is the blue and the red lighting, we'll go over that on the 8 bar in a minute. Uh, the mixed spectrum is going to uh, intro price at 829 and then the Photon Boost with the All Big Red, like the version that uh, DubXL uses, is going to intro price at $849. And the uh, Photon Boost version, 640 watt, will do 1740 PPFD. So that's right up there with you know, any, look at the Geek Beast, you look at you know, pretty much anything. It's right up there with anything in a 6-bar light. <clears throat> All right, so that is the Proline 6. And now we're going to move on to the Proline 8. This is the bad boy that your boy Fire Farmer crushes it on. So if any of you guys have um, checked out Fire Farmer's Grow, uh, he came to us and bought a few of our DIY lights about a year ago, maybe not quite a year ago, and absolutely crushed it with those lights. And then, you know, since then, I, I've been getting to know the guy. He's an amazing individual and uh, one of the best growers you're ever going to find. Puts out some of the finest craft cannabis anywhere in the world. And uh, he has converted his entire grow over to Dank Light Co. lights. And this is the light that he is standardized on. This is our 8-bar, 600-watt light, uh, single 600-watt driver. And um, again, you can kind of see, I was showing you the modularity. These are the bars. You can see the little um, positive and negative pins in there for the light strips. And then those are the little thumb screws that go in. That's the little cup that holds it all together. So you kind of get the idea of the modularity. But anyway, that's the 8-bar. The 8-bar single driver is going to be intro priced at $949. The, uh, the PPFD on the 8-bar is 1720 PPFD on the intro. And then um, from there, we go up to our mixed version. So there will all be also be a mixed fo photon boost version. The photon boosts, again, have the, uh, the twin drivers. And... This is the mixed version. You can actually see here now. It's got the blue strips and it's got the red. And this one actually has one of our little remote PWM um, on-off controllers. So this provides control for 100 different lights, daisy chain control for 100 different lights. It'll provide sunrise and sunset dimming. It's got a built-in battery, so if you ever... Um, if your power ever goes out or anything like that, then it, it resumes where it left off in terms of the cycle. So it doesn't fuck up your cycle when it comes back on. And uh, it's a really simple device. This is actually not our design, but it's one that we purchased because it was easy to get a controller working for our lights. And I mean, this is going to serve most people's needs to control all the lights in you know a big room. And it's also got a handy dandy little remote control. So there you go. Come on, wham. 
and uh, that's on the remote control. It's hard to really tell when I, on camera, it's hard to tell when I make this thing bright. It's blinding me, but you guys can't necessarily tell probably all that much. But it goes up in 10% increments on the, con on the remote control if you just want to control it remotely. And then basically you can schedule through here different sunrise and sunset dimming patterns. Now all, this, all the programming is done through the little remote control. I will say this is a relatively inexpensive unit. I think the great thing about it is it does its job very well. It's going to come out and be under $100 when we release this controller. We're still working out the final price on that. But under $100 and that will control up to 100 lights. And basically just uses simple daisy chain wiring. You can see on the dimmer boxes we have an RJ45 input and output connector. And then those are the dimmer switches obviously. And basically it just daisy chains your lights together. And um, with that daisy chained RJ45 interface you can control all the lights in your grow. So... This is the mixed spectrum. I don't think I gave you guys the price on that. If you guys are interested in the mixed spectrum, the blue and the red, which have independent channels for dimming, uh, you are looking at on the eight mixed spectrum. Uh, intro price is going to be nine seventy nine on the mixed spectrum, and that one does about sixteen hundred and fifty two ppfd. The blues have a little bit lower output because they use a few uh, less diodes, and the blues are also less efficient. The blue uh, monocolor diodes, so. Um, don't put out quite the same PPFD, but that blue-red color spectrum is amazing for the plants. Um, the big red, you can run full, uh, full term, no problem. You would never miss it. But the blues really do help with the internodal length, and I think they do help a little bit with trichome coverage at the very end of, um, at the very end of uh, flower. So that is the blue. And then the ProLine 8, the next one up, which I don't have a copy of here, but the next one up is the Photon Boost model of the ProLine 8. And the Photon Boost model has two 320 watt Inventronics drivers. It will do, <clears throat> hold on here, 1850 PPF total. So just to give you an example, like the Gavita 1700 does 1700 PPF. This one does <clears throat> 1850 PPF and about the same watts. Um, and I think the HLG Diablo, I think that does a little bit under 1800. Don't quote me, I don't have it off the top of my head. But just giving you guys some perspective in terms of you know, output on these lights versus some of the other name brands that are out there. So uh, <clears throat> the Photon Boost version is coming out uh, intro priced at $9.99. So $9.99, 1850 PPFD, and that will be Photon Boost all big red. And again, it was $9.79 for the Photon Boost version that is blue and red. And then finally, you guys haven't seen this one on the ProLine 8 series. I haven't talked about it yet. But we are also going to have a ProLine 8. I don't have it here today. But the, we have a ProLine 8 that also has two 480-watt drivers. So with the two 480-watt drivers, uh, you, let's see here. That, that light's going to be coming out at 1129. And I'm trying to remember exactly what the output was on that one because I'm I'm kind of getting confused on it. I think that one was around 2200 PPF, um, but I've got to look that one up. I don't have it written down here, so apologies. If anybody is interested in the 960 watt 8 bar Pro Line, hit me up on the DM and I'll get all the specs to you. But the 960 watt version, uh, which will do at least around 2200 PPF, is going to be again um, intro priced at 1129. So we have gone through now, we've talked about the three. We've talked about the four, we've talked about the six, we've talked about the eight, and the other eight, and now I want to talk about the beast, the beast of the ProLine lineup. Some of you guys have seen some pictures of this recently. This is our ProLine 10, y'all, ProLine 10. It's a 10-bar light. Uh, this light, so just to give you an example, I haven't told you guys anything about this. This light has 3,180 top bin Samsung and Osram diodes. Uh, the 8 bar, for instance, has 2,544 top bin Samsung and Osram diodes. So just check those diode counts against most of the lights that are on the market today, and you'll see that our diode counts far exceed most of the brands that are on the market today. Um, but this 10 bar frickin' beast, <laughs> this is, we, we start out, these are all photon boost models, by the way. The 10 bars are all photon boost models. The 10 bar starts at 960 watts, which is the combination of two 480 watt drivers. And we are going to be doing the, <clears throat> we, we have a mixed version, but we didn't release, uh, we have a mixed version, but I don't have it here uh, for the demo. 
So the mixed version, which is going to be the blue and red photon boost version, uh, does about that one does about 2450 ppfd. That one's going to be intro priced at 1229 for the mixed version. That's super blue, big red, combo spectrum control, just like this one you see here. It's got the blue and red spectrum control. Um, half the bars are blue, half the bars are red. And oh, by the way, the blue red spectrum control, your total CCT is right around 3600. The total CCT on big red is around 3150. And on Super Blue itself, it's a, around just about 5,000, I think, or maybe 4,800 around on Super Blue. Uh, but the combined for the two is about 3,600, which is kind of an ideal um, CCT for growing. And so anyway, the 10 bar, the next one up in the 10 bar mix is going to be our 960 watt Big Red. That's the model we're looking at right now. Uh, as I mentioned, 3,180 top bin Samsung and Osram diodes. 2700 ppf on that light uh you know this is definitely not a light for a tent this is more of a light for a big open room and it's also for somebody who wants to run a bit a larger canopy this can flower up to five and a half maybe six by six feet canopy um but you have to run at a higher hang height so this is the kind of light that you would you wouldn't move it up and down as much with the canopy as you will with some of the smaller lights um it just doesn't need to be moved as much and you're probably going to finish more in the range of 24 inches to 30 inches in terms of height. Uh, at 24 inches, I don't have the number here in front of me, but I think at 24 inches, this thing is still doing about 1170 or 1150 or so in the middle um, in open air, meaning with, without any kind of reflections anywhere. So, you know, that's kind of top PPF, even if you're douching your room with CO2, you don't want to go too much higher. Um, well, I mean, you can, but you just don't really get any benefit from it. So... That is the 480 watt 10 bar ProLine 10. And that one is going to intro price at 1269. So if you guys are looking at any of these big name brands, Gavita or Fluence, you know that their lights are going for like 1300 for a six bar that does, you know, 1650 PPFD. So now you're talking about <clears throat> 10 bars, 3,180 diodes, 2,700 PPF, and intro price of 1269. <clears throat> And then finally, <clears throat> I don't have it here. Uh, I think I only brought two of these models in. But finally, we have the Behemoth. And the Behemoth is our 1200 watt ProLine 10 Big Red. Yeah, that's right. Same configuration, but instead of 480 watt drivers, it has 600 watt drivers. The 1200 watt ProLine 10 will do 3,330 total PPF, 3,330 total PPF. Haven't talked about that one. And, and really this is kind of a, what, a light that I call, it's kind of a horses for courses light. And what I mean by that is it's pretty specific. That's the kind of light that you would hang high like you would in a HPS grow, like an HPS grow where you have a bunch of lights hung high and you don't move them up and down with the canopy. You can do that same exact thing with the uh, with, with pretty much both of the ProLine 10s. Um, the, the 960 watt or the 1200 watt just because the output is so high. And also with that 1200 watt, you do get the six foot by six foot flowering capability. Um, and like I said, you're gonna also run that at a little bit higher um, height above the canopy to finish just because the intensity of the light is so crazy high. So there you go, that's ProLine y'all. Um, all the lights we're coming out with. Uh, the website is gonna go live the website will go live by tomorrow at noon. Um, at this time, I'm still getting everything ready, putting all the specs up, putting all the photos up and everything like that. Uh, you have all the prices here. So tomorrow at noon, the pre-order starts. This is still a relatively small drop. I've getting, been getting a lot of questions from you guys about the size of the drop because people don't want to miss out. And I just want to kind of give you guys a state of the nation. You know, we are still a self-funded startup. Self-funded, meaning all the money's come out of our pocket to get this thing going. And uh, as such, you know, we've, we've had a lot of success in terms of our lights being popular and people having great results and building some goodwill. Uh, and so now we're at that sort of shark tank moment, <laughs> if you will, where we've got to scale up the company and we're looking to bring some capital in so that we can do bigger and bigger inventory purchases and have more inventory to meet demand. But these are still going to be relatively small drops. The first couple drops of ProLine are until we bring in a little bit more capital and start increasing our inventory levels. But that is priority number one for the new year is getting ProLine launched. Priority number two is bringing the capital to increase our inventory. And then as I've mentioned to you guys, ProLine is a complete lighting platform. So we're not stopping here at all. We've got a couple of other different light models, uh, some smaller bar models that will come out in the future. 
Um, you guys know that I'm a big fan of supplemental spectrum, UV and IR. Um, I'm never going to put the UV and IR on the main strips. I shouldn't say never, but I don't plan to put the UV and IR on the main strips simply because I like to have the added control of the UV and IR to run it at different times. And the UV diodes also tend to be, uh, they tend to break down. They tend to, to fail a lot more soon than the white diodes do. And so that just puts a failure point on your board that, you know, we really don't want to have to take out main boards. Um, but if we lost a supplemental, it's not quite as damaging. So there will be supplemental spectrum coming, uh, more development happening. And we've also got some really cool stuff that we're doing with, we're looking at with like wireless and some other stuff. So that, that's about all I'll tell you for right now. But just like I said, this is a platform. We're going to continue to develop the ProLine platform. Uh, we will continue to bring out more lights and, uh, you know, fitting more and more grow sizes and, you know, more and more of your needs. So that's about it, y'all. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, if anybody has any questions, I haven't, I haven't been really watching down below. So I see a couple questions here. No, not seeing much questions here. Five Farmer, thanks, boss. Said these crushed so hard, man. You have proven that beyond a shadow of a doubt. And Dub XL, you have proved it too. Um, people are asking about the tent. So when you ask about the tent, guys, I'm just let me tell you, the tent is just for pictures. Um, we don't recommend the 10 bar for the tent, an, an eight bar for a tent, or a six bar for a four by four tent, an eight bar for a five by five tent uh, is what we recommend. There's no reason for a 10 bar or that power in a tent. I mean, if you want to run it, you can, but it's really overkill. Most people end up turning the light down anyway, um, just because there's so much PPFD that it's, it's really not necessary. Uh, let me see if I see any other questions. Somebody says, show the light better. Footprint on the eight bar for flower. So the eight bar is five by five for flower, six by six for veg. How many square feet does the eight bar do? That's 25 square feet. Um, thanks on the controller, guys. Yeah, and the remote is pretty cool. I agree. <laughs> this is a, a generic remote. Yeah, this is a, a pretty generic remote for the controller. Like I said, the controller is not our design. It was a fairly inexpensive design that we could get that would meet the need uh, for people. Um, and like I said, it's got a battery backup. It can control up to 100 lights. And uh, it's got, you know, sunrise, sunset dimming. So it really does what most people are looking for in terms of a light. That's the controller there. The thing about it is the interface isn't that great. When you're actually programming the different dimming levels and stuff, you have to do it with the plus minus buttons on the controller and uh, you're doing it in zero to 100 increments. So it's kind of clunky in that regard, just setting it up. But once it gets set up, it just, it just runs. You know, it just runs perfectly and flawlessly. And the other cool thing is this controller is completely powered by the Inventronics drivers. The Inventronics drivers have a 12 volt output that powers that controller. So um, what that means is the, the drivers actually stay in um, a ready state. The, the capacitors are not discharged. And so when this thing kicks your lights on, you don't have the current surge that you do where you have with just like a timer built uh, controller because the lights are always in an always on state. They just aren't, they just don't have full power to generate um, light. So that's one of the really cool things about the controller is if any guys know much about LED, you know, the LEDs have a huge current surge when they're turned on because all the capacitors in the um, drivers are filling up with power, filling up with current so that they can power the driver. And when they do that, it just sucks a shit ton of amps from the wall. And if you try to power up, you know, too many lights on one breaker at a given time, you just, you know, you're just going to trip your breaker. So the, the controller has the advantage of not having any of those problems at all. So let's see. Um, somebody asked about the, the price on the 10 bar. If you're still around, we're doing the 10. The 960 mix is coming out at 1229. The 960 watt all big red is coming out at 1269. And the 1200 watt all big red is coming out at 1379. And like I said, there are there is a fairly uh, small drop, y'all. So don't sleep on this. If you guys are interested in getting in on these first round of lights, I suggest that you hit that site tomorrow at noon. Uh, thanks very much, Squish and Magician. Thanks very much, Helix Lab Screen Printing. Thanks, Dove. Thanks, all you guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Hefe Papa, no watts, less cash. <laughs> you got it, man. <laughs> How much does she weigh? Uh, it depends on which light you're talking about. Um, without the drivers, most of these lights are in the like 
Uh, sub 30 pound range with the drivers, they all go you know, over 30 pounds. And then um, that's for the bigger lights. Uh, off the top of my head, I, I've done all the weights on the three and four bar, but I don't have it off the top of my head. If you want to hit me up on the DM, I will get weights to you. Um, how much was that last one? I see CP Chef asked, and I don't know if he's still here on, on this. I think CP Chef, if you, you were talking about the 10 bar is what I talked about last. Um, and the 10 bar is the, um, the last one I talked about was the 1200 water, 1200 Watts, 3300, 30 PPFD. And that one's at 1379 is going to be the intro price on that one. Yes, Hefe, uh, Papa, they're all dimmable. You can see here, these are, they have a built-in dimmer box with an RJ45 connector that uh, allows for the daisy chaining the lights together. How much will individual strips cost for the upgrade? We're still working out the, the upgrade costs. Um, we, we won't have enough materials for upgrade from the first drop, but we'll start bringing in more materials for upgrades in the second drop. But our plan is to have upgrade packages. So let's say you buy like a three bar light and then later on, you know, for a two by four, and then later on you want to go to a six bar, we will have like a three bar to a six bar upgrade package. And the goal will be that when you buy the upgrade package, the cost would never be more than it would have cost to buy the actual light at that time. So we're trying to, like I say, future proof your investment, give you guys a way that you can move up into another light. A lot of, especially the newer growers out there, they'll start with like, you know, a single light, like in a two by four tent. And then obviously they want bigger flower rooms. So they go up to a bigger tent and this gives you everybody a way to, uh, to do that upgrade sort of process. Um, no DIY pro line is planned right now. Um, the lights are pretty DIY as they are. I actually, we actually couldn't price them any lower if we did them as a DIY. So that's why we're not doing it. Um, the, the DIY model is great. It's very helpful for a lot of people. Um, but we're not doing that with the pro line. The pro line is going to be, it's a, it can be assembled in about three or four minutes, uh, and disassembled, but we're not doing straight, um, DIY. <laughs> Dub, thank you, boy. Fuck, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> man, I'm so happy to hear that. So that's about it, man. Thanks very much, Family Roots Grow. Thanks, Seven Hills. Everybody who's out there, I don't know who all has, um, who all is still on the on here at this point. I'm seeing all your comments. Uh, yeah, two, the two by four is is pretty fucking sweet. <laughs> good, be a good one for you, um, Family Roots Grow. So there you go, y'all. That's that's the pro line, man. I want to thank you guys all for joining. Like I said, I wasn't able to see everybody's comments. I apologize if I didn't get a comment. I wasn't ignoring you. I was just trying to go through a bunch of information. So if you guys want to hit me up on the DM, I think you all know, like if anybody you guys have talked to me, I'm always available. Hit me up on the DM. Uh, our phone number is 510. <laughs> what is our phone number? 510-458-6703. So you can call me. You can text me on that number. I'm happy to talk to you guys about the ProLine lights. Um, we're doing more testing. I, I will eventually get you some PAR charts out, but I mean, you guys can check out the PPF. I mean, the PPFs on these lights are some of the highest in the industry, not the highest, but some of the highest. And you know, you guys kind of know how bar style lights work. They have a very even PPFD. So we will get some more data out on that, but I, I guarantee you that these lights just produce. And you can look at people like, you know, DubXL, uh, follow him, follow people like Fire Farmer, and these guys have switched their entire grow over to Dank Light Co., and they're crushing it. And I'm so grateful to them, and I'm grateful to all you guys. So I just want to say thank you very much, everybody, for joining me. Proline, I've been telling you 